Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are here for SPS week number five, going up against MK and his Miami Monkeys. Uh, I believe the logo is like Infernape, so. But Miami Infernapes doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Miami Monkeys, so. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he has a team of Tornado Therian, Zygarde 50%, Jirachi Tangrowth, Galarian Weez Weezing, Jellicent, Blaziken, Wishy Washy, uh, Tyranitar, Mega Tyranitar, sorry, Pikachu, and Glaceon. Now he's been doing really well with uh, Mega Tyranitar this season. Um, it's, it's been working out pretty well for him. At, at one point, it was the MVP. I think after like week two, uh, and it's still it's still up there a good amount. So uh, definitely gonna have to watch out for that Pokemon. Um, it could definitely run like a mixed set. Uh, just so that he can hit Don Fan a little bit better, uh, maybe even Finny, because it gets some pretty nice special coverage. I remember using a, a mixed, like regular Tyranitar a while back, um, and it worked out pretty well. So, yeah, I can definitely see that. Um, and, you know, he's got, as far as removal, he's got Defog Tornadus, Defog Weezing, uh, that's about it. And then Hazards, um, Stealth Rocks Tyranitar, he's got T Spikes on. Uh, Glaring Weezing, he's got Stealth Rocks on Jirachi, and that's it. Um, but yeah, a couple things, other, other things about his team. I mean, Tornadus is a pretty big threat for my team. I don't have too much to, to deal with Tornadus. And, um, yeah, Tyranitar, like I said, could be a problem. We, we, we prepped a good amount for Tyranitar, though. Uh, Glaring Weezing, I mean, if he, ring, if he runs Neutralizing, gas galarian wheezing that would be just ugh because he brought my opponent last week brought neutralizing gas regular wheezing and it, it worked out pretty well for him um so i have a feeling that we're gonna see neutralizing gas galarian wheezing so luckily after this week barring a playoff matchup we're just gonna be done with the freaking stupid wheezings okay please let us be done with that um but yeah let's go right into my team now uh, first Pokemon I thought had a pretty good matchup here was Durant. I, at first I had a Choice Banded Durant with Baton Pass instead of Home Claws. Um, and then I had a, like, Endure Salic Berry Durant. Um, like, Home Claws Endure and then Dual Stab, I think. Um, but then I just changed it. This is my going to be my final set here. Life Orb with Home Claws, Iron Head, X Scissor, and Crunch. Enough speed to outspeed Jirachi. And, yeah, with the Crunch... We can kind of deal with the Jellicent that wants to switch in, because uh, Jellicent could be an issue because it gets, uh, well, it gets cursed by cursed body, which could be annoying if I have like Mega Metacham in against it, and I use like Zen Headbutt, and it doesn't doesn't work because what well, it works the first time and then cursed body disables it, so I can't really do much. Uh, Jellicent in general could be pretty annoying to deal with, so um, having Crunch there is nice. It also hits Jirachi, which is good, um, so hopefully we can do some stuff with that. The reason I wanted to bring Endure Salak Bear is because Tornadus just comes in every time and destroys me with an Air Slash. Um, because my special defense is so bad and my HP is so bad that any special attack is just doing a lot of damage to me. And the problem with Endure Salak Bear here is that he's got priority E speed on Zygarde, he's got um, E speed on whatchamacallit Pikachu, which I actually think has a decent chance of coming because it does get Surf that hits Don Fan. Uh, it can go for, uh, you know, extreme speed, like I said, for priority. So it's definitely a possible bring, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, I, I just felt like, because Zygarde, I think, is definitely coming. And I think that it's going to run E-Speed, and it's just going to be annoying. So, um, yeah, I don't think the Salakberry set would have worked out too well. So we have this. So, you know, Tornadus isn't really the... It's not really an easy switch in to Durant, so... Um, you know, hopefully we can put in some work with this Pokemon. Uh, because it does hit Tangrowth, it hits Galarian Weezing, it hits Jellicent, it hits a lot of things that I need to be able to hit. So, next up I brought, or I'm bringing the Tapu Fini. Physically defensive, uh, deals pretty well with Zygarde, deals with, um, Blaziken, deals with Tyranitar, even deals with Wishy Washy to an extent. So, this is definitely an important Pokemon to bring. Um, physically defensive will, uh, I think, is the right set here. I didn't want to try to set up or anything. Um, I didn't think that was a, a good set here. Um, but yeah, we have Moonblast, Taunt, Na Nature's Madness, and Knockoff. I feel like knocking off items here can be really nice. 
if I can knock off like Tornadus' boots or like uh, a scarf on Jirachi could be annoying if he brings that. Um, if I can knock off like Tangrowth's AV, if it does that, that could be really good. Knocking off like Pikachu's light ball. Uh, but yeah, just in general, knocking off items I think is good. But also, I didn't really need anything else. You know, I want to be able to taunt um, to to stop certain things um, from going for stats. Like, you know, Glare and Weezing, for example. But I don't know. I just have taunt there, mainly for Dragnet's uh, Zygarde. Uh, if I'm in against it, and it, you know, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't think we're going to be end up using taunt that much. Um, the biggest reason is just to stop from stop Jirachi from wishing a lot and to stop um, Zygarde from setting up too much. Uh, and then Nature's Madness will just kind of stop things from healing, or stop things from, what do you wish to call it? It'll just do damage. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling and jumbling up my words here. Uh, Taunt's also nice for like a potential Strength Sap or Recover Jellicent. We can kind of deal with Jellicent pretty well with this set. Because we can just taunt it and then nature's madness. We can also knock off for some decent damage, uh, even though we are a bold nature. But yeah, it's, uh, Finny, pretty self explanatory here. Uh, next up is Fargo, our. Uh, if it wants to load, it's Fargo, our Spectre. Spectre is pretty good here. Um, he's got no normal type, so only Shadow Ball. The only real Shadow Ball switch in is going to be that Tyranitar. Um, I can Will O Wisp it, which is going to be great. And basically, you know, if we're able to burn the Tyranitar, we're in, I think we're in a great position. Um, again, like I, like I said, it can be spit, uh, mixed to hit Don Fan and maybe like Thunderbolt for Finny, something like that. Uh, but still, burning it would be nice, um, just in general, because it, it, I don't think it's going to go fully special. Um, I don't know, he could just run Dragon Dance and just whatever. But um, yeah, getting Will Wisp off on that thing is nice. Also, if it's... If it's pretty low, we can go for a mud shot and try to knock it out. Uh, and then we just shadow ball everything else. So, um, yeah, hopefully the Spectre puts in some work here. Uh, next up is our Prophet, our Mega Medicham. Enough speed for Zygarde. I didn't really feel like running max speed because Jirachi's like kind of meh. Uh, I don't really need to outspeed that. I, I probably won't anyway uh, if it's like scarfed. So, whatever. Uh, Zen Headbutt, High Jump Kick, Ice Punch, and Baton Pass. With a yawn. <sighs> With a yawn. Um, but yeah. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. I mean, Mega Metacham's got a pr pretty decent matchup. I considered running Bullet Punch over Baton Pass, but I ended up just keeping it Baton Pass. And that's, that's okay with us. Um, because I feel like I will be able to force switches, and if he brings in like a uh, defensive Jellicent or Tornadus uh, or even Tangrowth and I don't want to risk high jump kick missing um, or just going right through the Pokemon like if he brings out Jellicent I can just go for a safe baton pass try to get an Spectre um, Ice Punch is nice for Zygarde uh, it's also nice to get accurate hits on like Tangrowth and and uh, Tornadus so yeah that's that's the Mega Medicham for you uh, pretty pretty obvious kind of stuff there. Next up is Donphan, physically defensive. Um, I, bl I forget why I put four speed in Donphan. I believe it's just, I don't really know. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have Stealth Rocks, Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Toxic. This is a pretty good set as well. Um, it's just kind of supporting Finny because um, this Pokemon also deals pretty well with Tyranitar, Blaziken, and Zygarde. Um, and even Jirachi, so, you know, in case one of them gets weakened, I have another one just in case, you know, just to make sure that we don't, uh, that we're not overextending ourselves um, in one aspect. But uh, I do think it's important to have a rapid spinner here uh, just in case he brings some hazards. Uh, it's also nice to set up our own rocks. Um, keep in mind, if we rapid spin and get like two speed boosts, we can outspeed this Pokemon and you know, late game, that might be really, really good to just maybe sweep with this Pokemon. If he's got, like, for example, uh, Jirachi, Tyranitar, and, like, Galarian Weezing left. Um, and, you know, I get, a, like, two rapid spins off somehow. Maybe I'm against the, the burnt Tyranitar. I can just fire off Earthquakes. Because um, he's probably going to be, if he brings Galarian Weezing, I'm assuming it's going to be Neutralizing Gas. Um, 
if he watched the uh, last week's battle um and he kind of saw he could see how like the Weezing can actually deal with Mega Meta Cham uh, because of neutralizing gas. So that is the down fan. Also, Toxic's nice if he if I'm predicting like a Tangrove or or a Jellicent to switch in something like that. Next up is E Electros, um, or last but not least, I should say, with uh, almost max HP, a good amount of speed def, uh, just a little bit of defense because um, this Pokemon's mainly here for like Pikachu, Glaceon. Um, Tornadus and I guess Swishy Washy to an extent um, Just to take special hits. I want to put a little bit of defense into it because I know Tornadus is gonna run either knockoff or u-turn or both uh, Pikachu could also run like extreme speed um, So having a little bit of physical investment will help us take the hit a little bit better my you know my longe my longevity It's not that much because I don't have like any recovery on the sea electros so we're going to have to use this Pokemon really wisely uh, for it to work out. We have U-Turn, Knockoff, Thunder Punch, and Flamethrower. Knocking off, like I said, just decent for his team. Just, I like to knock off items. And, um, yeah, hopefully that'll work out for us. Um, slow U-Turn is nice. Um, I'm running Flamethrower so I can hit Tangrowth a little bit better. Potentially, like, on a switch in, if he's more of a physically defensive set, I can Flamethrower do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, basically here to hopefully pivot into, um, you know, either Glaceon, Pikachu, or Tornadus mainly, um, because I think Wishy Washy, my first switch in is probably going to be Finny, um, but yeah, then I can just go for slow U-turns, um, with the Electros if I sw if I'm switching into Tornadus, Pikachu, or the Glaceon, so it's all about the, uh, momentum grabbing with this, with this eel here. Uh, didn't think Guja was as good here because um, he has a lot of he has a few different pretty good switch ins to to Gudra. Um, I can't really do much to Galarian Weezing, so um, I can't do much to Gudra either or er, Jellison either. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the team builder. I'm going to cut to the battle right here, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Okay, here we are in the battle going up against MK or Plat Dog and the Miami. Monkeys, he brings a team of Galarian Weezing, uh, Mega Tyranitar, Tornadus, Therian, Pikachu, Jirachi, and Zygarde. Um, kind of surprised to see the Pikachu, um, because I'm always surprised to see a Pikachu, to be honest. But um, we did prep for everything, of course, so um, you know we'll, we'll see how it goes. He did not bring Tangrowth, Jellicent, Blaziken, Wishy Washy, or Glaceon. So, uh, there, that's, got to keep that in mind. Uh, as far as the leadoff, I'm thinking probably, um, going to lead the Electros. Actually, I didn't even think about it in, in the battle. At the beginning of the battle, I was doing a few things at once. I didn't even check to see what he didn't bring, but I knew, you know, my lead is the Electros because I'm expecting him to lead with Tornadus. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the battle now, and we'll see how this goes. So... I'm going to lead with Eagle Electros. Like I said, he's going to lead with Galarian Weezing. Shows off the neutralizing gas, which I talked about extensively in the team builder, um, to be a pain in the ass. Uh, I go for knockoff as he will wisps me, will wisps me which sucks. Uh, not too much I can do about that, though. I knock off the Rocky Helmet. So uh, definitely here for the Mega Metacham and just my physical attackers in general. Uh, I go for... I switch into Durant, predicting the Sludge Wave or the Moonblast, or whatever, um, and I got that right, and then I go for Iron Head, I, Durant, or Hustle is not affected by that, so I don't get the damage boost, but it was also a guaranteed hit, he does end up burning me, which is unfortunate, uh, now he switches, so I'm actually going to get the attack boost, plus I get a crit there, which is nice, um, I think he was going to U-turn anyway here, I don't think the crit changed that uh, mindset, maybe it did, I'm actually not sure, um, I, but I think he was predicting me to switch there, um, maybe not, I don't know, maybe he just wanted to get regenerator healing, but I missed the next iron head, not that it was going to do much, uh, I go for iron, or hone claws here, just to see, maybe I can get a crunch off, but he actually shows off that he scarfed Jirachi, um, I know this, so I can, because I would have outspeed, sped otherwise, so I get a free switch into Don Fan, um, and here I go for Toxic, as he's switching into Weezing, I was really expecting, like, Tornadus to switch in, um, if I just went for Earthquake there, this probably would be a dead Galarian Weezing, 
Uh, but it's going to be a dead glaring we're using anyway because he goes for pain split. And I thought he was really, I really thought he was going to click Will O Wisp there. Um, but it does make sense to go for pain split there. Um, so that maybe he can live the next earthquake and do some damage to me at the same time. Um, so then he just sacks the Weezing, so it's a double down. So now it's 5 to 5. I'm going to bring out Mega Metacham. Um, as he brings out Tornadoes, I wanted to bring out Electros, but I thought that would be obvious since I led with it, so it would make sense for me to bring it out in a double down this early in the game. But he actually leads tornado or brings out Tornadoes, um, so I have to switch out. He does go for Air Slash, which is good. Uh, and now I'm just going to knock off because I know that I can... Knock off any item except if he brings a Tyranitar. And look, he brought in Tyranitar, so that's not good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so pretty unfortunate. But I'm going to go to Don Fan here uh, as he goes straight for the Mega Evolution and clicks Crunch. Uh, that damage tells you he's not fully offensive, uh, physically offensive. So uh, he could just have a lot of bulk or he could actually be specially offensive here. Uh, I go for the Toxic um, just as a safe play. Um, just like a middle ground, I guess, um, as he does actually switch into Tornadus. Uh, here he goes for Air Slash uh, as I get up Rocks, which is nice. Getting up Rocks, getting up Rocks. Um, he doesn't have Leftovers, so he could definitely be Boots here. Um, all we've seen is you turn in Air Slash, so he could definitely have Defog. He goes for Grass Knot here, uh, which is interesting. Um, I guess because it, it hits Finny and Donphan, that's why he has that move on it. Um, and then he goes for U-turn. I'm able to live it and get a slow U-turn off myself, uh, which is pretty cool. As uh, so here, I'm going to go into Finny because I want to. Uh, actually, I don't know. I want to get rid of his scarf. That's right. Um, so uh, he goes for Iron Head and he flinches me. By the way, the damage on Durian with the from the Jirachi Thunderbolt tells me he's like no, not invested at all in special attack, and like he's also a minus special attack nature. I didn't really believe that calc, but at the same time, I was surprised that Durant lived that Thunderbolt because Durant is really bad on the special defense side and the HP side. So anyway, I get flinched the first time and then I'm able to knock off the Scarf. I go ahead and sack the uh, Electros. So now Fargo has a free switch. I'm going to switch double into Mega Metacham, predicting Tyranitar, because I can't burn him this turn because of Misty Terrain. Um, so it was a really safe switch in for him. Um, and I get that right, so now I'm just going to be able to fire off a high jump kick and do a lot of damage to something. He is Boots Tornadus, we see that. Uh, high jump kick actually does 73%, which is going to mean that he's going to actually die to sand plus toxic. Uh, the toxic damage knocks him out, so that's that's a kill for Don Fan. Um, so yeah, now he brings out Zygarde, and I'm like, as long as you're not Yachi, I kind of just knock you out here. He might use for extreme speed um, to get damage off. Uh, he's also Life Orb, so... He gets a little bit of chip um, for Pikachu to come in and knock me out. Because with the sand damage, he does knock me out here. Without the sand, I would have been actually been able to live this hit. Um, but alas, here we are. Uh, he goes for the extreme speed, which is obvious. Uh, he had to do that, so I bring out Spectre. Um, I think Mega Mana Champ still has worth in this battle. Um, so I didn't want to just let it drop there. Now he goes into Tyranitar, which he kind of has to. Um, as he, I go for Will-O-Wisp and I connect, which is amazing. Uh, really good stuff there. Um, and now going to the Don Fan as he goes for Thunderbolt. Now, if I click like Nasty Plot there, I might just win the game because uh, I do have Mud Slap, or is it Mud? I think it's Mud Shot. I don't know. Either way, he goes for Ice Beam, so he shows off the. Well, I knew he was special from the Thunderbolt, but I wasn't sure if he's, he'd bring Bolt and Beam, uh, but he ends up doing just that. Uh, I go into Mega Metacham, he goes into Jirachi, so it's a free kill, except I miss for the second time this season in a really important part of the match. Um, yeah, that's pretty unfortunate, as he says. And I'm, I'm, you know, at this point, I was like, ugh, this is not fun. So, um, he knows that he can't really bring in Tyranitar because it's getting pretty weakened at this point. So he just lets Jirachi die, and then I go for Mudshot, because I know I can take a crunch because he's burned. And I miss. And then he gets a crit with the crunch. So now I can, like, guaranteed knock me out. I, nah, it would have been close. It would have been a roll for the second one to knock me out. I go for Mudshot. I do land it. Because um, there's no real reason to bring out Finny at this point. He probably out, he probably have put enough speed in it to outspeed the Finny anyway. Um, so I just do enough damage to knock him out um, with the burn. So, uh, 
Spectre gets a passive kill there. So now it's Finny versus Pikachu. I'm thinking, I just click Moonblast. I'm pretty sure this game's over because he can just go for like a Thunderbolt or a Wild Charge or something. But his only electric move is Volt Switch, and we live on 20% health and knock him out with a Moonblast. So despite the mud, despite the high jump kick miss, despite the Moonblast, or despite the. <sighs> forgot the thing's name again. Despite the mud shot miss, we're still able to. Uh, get the win here which is awesome uh, we get the narrow 1-0 uh, we're four and one now our differential is not looking good because let's see hold on um how much did we we lost 3-0 last last week i believe so that means we're we're four and one plus five which is pretty uh it's not that good that that's not very good differential for being four and one, but man, Luke is tough. Like this is a tough division to to play in, and a lot of things have gone my way. Uh, a lot of things, there are a few things haven't gone my way this season, but we're four and one. Moving on next week, uh, this battle will probably go up a little bit late. It'll probably go up Monday because uh, I'm recording this on Sunday. We had the battle, uh, I don't know, a few hours ago. I think like three hours ago from now. Um, but yeah. Good game to MK. Um, really difficult team to prep for. I really was not coming in to this battle with high hopes. Uh, but we ended up taking the win. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on to next week. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.